Hi there! Charles here! Thank you for stopping by on my channel. In this video, I'm going to share how I made this beautiful paper that I use for my Boho journals. It is very easy to make, it's very fast, but it may be a little bit tiring if you made like 32 pages at one time. To make this project, you need spray inks. I am using Glimmer Mist from Tether Angels for my Boho journal, but you don't have to use this Glimmer Mist. You can use your any of spray inks that you have. And if you don't have any, you can also make it yourself. Don't go buy it before you know that you will like this project. I will show you how I made this alcohol ink. And you will also need ink pads, a variety color of ink pads. These are cheap ink pads that I got for, from Michael for my daughters. You will also need blending brush, stencils. I got these stencils from AliExpress, it's not expensive at all. Copy paper, you can use a plain white copy paper, color copy paper. You can also use your dyed co copy paper. Maybe you have some dyed copy paper that is really plain like the ones I have here and you don't like it. And we can totally use this technique to dress these papers up. Before I started on the project itself, I want to show you how I made these alcohol inks. I made these alcohol inks using the creep paper from Dollar Store. I also use 70% isopropyl alcohol from Dollar Store. I look up everywhere and I still found that the alcohol from Dollar Store is still the best value. I also use an empty bottle. The one that I use is 17 fluid ounce bottle or 500 milliliter bottle. So the way that I did it is I just stuff this scrap paper into the bottle and in between I pour this alcohol ink inside. So you don't want to put like all of your scrap paper inside the bottle and then do the alcohol ink later because sometimes it, the scrap paper might like get in between the gap and it's getting harder for you to fill the alcohol. So you want to do it like in between. So this a little bit and then alcohol and then creep pepper and then alcohol. So for this one bottle, I, I use the whole bottle of this alcohol and I also use like one roll of the Dollar Tree creep when they were selling it two rolls in a pack. So the after COVID, Dollar Tree sell the creep pepper in a bigger size but only one roll. And this one can only make one alcohol ink bottle plus a little bit of crepe paper left over. And before COVID, you can make two bottles of alcohol ink using the crepe paper from Dollar Store. And after I stuff my crepe paper into the bottle, I just let it sit on the counter for overnight. And this is the red crepe paper that I use and it's kind of leaking now because I didn't close it properly. So I also use this one to dye paper as well before and it turned out really pretty. Now, if you don't have clip paper, you don't want to buy clip paper, you can also use a dried up watercolor pen. This one is the one that my daughter played with and then she left it outside. So it is dry, barely, you can barely like use it to draw anything. And the method is still the same. You just put this in any bottle that you are no longer using and pour your alcohol inside. You can use this with any of the uh, what is called marker. And you can see that the, let's see, how do I do this? The color of the alcohol is getting darker and, and darker because the from this watercolor brush is bleeding into the alcohol and when you are done you can then put it inside the spray bottle I got this spray bottle also from dollar store it came like two in a pack it's pretty affordable and when we are done you can just wash it and use it for another color
Here I just shake my pen into the ink until I get the color that I like. And then I'm just going to pour it into my spray bottle to use in this video. There are only two steps in making this project, but make sure that you protect your working surface because this process may be a little bit messy. I'm going to use my tea dead coffee pepper and my plain white coffee pepper just so we can see the differences it makes. And I'm going to use this brown alcohol ink that I made in the video. So what I did for the first step is just spray this alcohol ink on the pepper like this. I just randomly pick a position and spray it. And if I feel fancy, I will also I can also use different alcohol ink just to add more color on it. Maybe I will also use this one. I haven't put my red one on the spray ink bottle, so I'm not going to use that. And I'm going to flip the paper and do the same thing. Just change to the other color. This yellow creep pepper doesn't really show much of the yellow pet color. Actually, the yellow creep pepper and the green creep pepper mix pretty much same color. I do not know why. And if you notice here, my brown watercolor makes kind of like reddish color. It's really interesting. Now that I actually I want to spray a little bit more here and I a little bit hand, heavy handed here but that's fine that's what makes this process more interesting because you don't really always get the same the same uh, looking so and these are done and I'm going to let this dry for a little bit before I did the second step while waiting for my pepper to dry I want to show you the spread ink pepper that I already did this I use like multicolor. I did the front and then the back. That's why the pattern on both sides are different. And on some paper, I only use one color, like this green. It is like brownies, green, purple, orange, and same. I did one side and I did the other side. And sometimes when I like have did the, the paper heavy handed, the color from one side will bleed into the other side and that's totally okay and these papers are the ones that my daughter made she started to love this spray inking paper but hers is kind of like too dark in my opinion this purple so i'm not sure how i'm going to use this so my papers are dried and you can see that the color are really really subtle really pastel not really vibrant like my glimmer mist here and that's totally fine and the next step is using my stencils so I already picked my stencils here and I'm going to prepare my ink pad just going to use like, any color I'm not going to decide which color I'm going to like put on my paper I'm just let my hand do the job so this project is really relaxing too. I'm not going to be surprised if after you know how to make this, you're going to make a bunch of it. Because yeah, you can just do it while thinking other things. We can do it while, while watching TV, whatever you want. So I just did, I just kept my blending brush on my ink pad and just did the coloring. I know like most of you already know how to do this. So. I like and I did not think what color I'm going to use. I just let my hand pick the color randomly and then color it. If you want to, you can absolutely use your distress ink or distress ink offset or whatever ink pad you use. I just use my daughter's ink pad because that's the one that I don't really care if there is the color contamination like this one here and for the distress ink pad I'm still feeling a little bit precious about it and don't like the color to blend so I'm sorry my daughter Miss Cutie but she's okay she likes to share 
she often said sharing is caring and actually after she's getting better at spraying pepper with my spray uh, glimmer mist or alcohol ink I'm going to teach her to do this so she can make me some pretty pepper or she can even make it for her own craft that will be fun so just do this randomly for my bow journal I'm using my mandala stencils but for this I'll just use my other stencils I'm still new at this mixed media so I'm not really sure if I use my stencil correctly I know like some people will tape this stencil so it's not going to run away but I don't really mind that it's running away it's going to add more like interest on it and this is what I did and next I'm going to do the other side but I'm just going to use the, the other stencil again I'm not going to stress what color I'm using I just let my hand pick the color and this is the same process that I did with my boho journal so I'm just going to speed, speed up this video and show you the final result here I'm done with this side and this is the other side and I'm going to work on the white paper and again I'm going to speed up the process and show you the final result I think I'm pretty happy with this so as you notice I put this paper like side by side like this and then use my stencil and then doing it across the paper and that's how I got this cut off stencil looking and not wasting the other side so I'm pretty happy with this I'm going to put it aside and I can use it for my other project and now what if you don't have stencil and you still want to have this pattern on your paper? That's very easy. I believe you all have doilies. This is what we are going to use to make the pattern. Just simple. You put the doily on your paper anywhere you want. It can be in the middle, the center. And if you are putting it off the paper, then I highly suggest that you put it across in, in between two papers so like this I'll just put this like so and I am going to use my glimmer mist just like this and let's use green And let's use the alcohol ink as well and when you put the doily away and you will have this pretty pattern of the doily and again you have another side you can just flip the paper and then you did it on the other side and with this technique, you will have a painted paper and you will also have a painted dolly. So it's two put in one stone. Here, I have my printed toilets and I have my paper here. So that's it. It's very easy very relaxing and the only part that may be time consuming and tiring is the second step the stenciling step but when you see this pretty result you will just be like it will just make all your hard work worth it thank you for watching everyone happy crafting bye